be the dick, dude. I can't stand this drawing. I really dislike it. You are a technical tattooer. I was rooting for you last week and the week before because you did things that were your world. You pull off amazing things when you are replicating something. But this drawing doesn't look like an adult drawing. This looks like a kid drawing. I wouldn't have done it if I didn't like it. I spent uh, plenty of time drawing it. It has a very specific no, it man. feel for what it. What is the shape? I'd be pissed right now if I was wearing this. Well, it's a good thing I didn't put it on you. Welcome to your first elimination tattoo. This week, we are testing your flexibility, and there is no better test than a cover-up. Cover-ups are super difficult. We have to work with what's there already. We have to make it look like there was nothing there in the first place. You will have six hours to complete your cover-up. Good luck. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass looking design, but it's a lot of work to get done with all the texture and detail in six hours. Why'd you have to pick something with all that fur, man? I could be really shooting myself in the foot here. There's a lot that I want to do to this piece that I know I don't have the time for. This week, we tested your flexibility by asking you to cover prison tattoos. Frank. And this is a rough one, man. Tried to go a little bit ballsy. I knew there was going to be a lot of detail. But the detail, this does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not going to know that's a tongue. It's like a ball sack. <laughs> There's not one clean bit of outline anywhere. You showed me everything you can't do. Don't do things to point out your weaknesses. Do things to point out your strengths. Frank, Maddie. Mike, you are all in the bottom. Any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Frank. You didn't get any of the textures, from the hair to the mouth to the teeth. I really dug the mouth, man. When you'd match up, the technical aspects of tattooing, like line, shade, color, were missing everything to judge. I don't think all the shading's bad on that. I think there's some really solid parts that I really dig. All right, guys, the judges have decided. Frank, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing precision. Surgeons need a steady hand and a cool head to have the precision it takes to operate on complex systems in the body. The same is true for tattoo artists, because one misplaced drop of ink can destroy a tattoo. This is especially true for this elimination tattoo. You will have six hours to create an anatomical tattoo. Oh, you must create an exact replica of the inner anatomy so real, it's like your canvas was just sliced open. You have the rest of the evening to consult with your human canvases. And tomorrow, you'll have six hours to complete your anatomical tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. I'm doing a G-clef staff cut out of the deltoid muscle, as if it was surgically removed from the body. So I'm going to do partial saturation and then build up uh, during the process. What is this tattoo? I have no idea. That's not anatomical at all. This week, we had you create an anatomical tattoo using precision to make it look exactly like the inside of the body. Mystical Mike. Do you feel that this design hits the challenge? I actually drew the muscle strands on by hand to conform to anatomy. Can't really say much about the anatomical value of this tattoo, because it's basically just a music note with a swirly background. Upon contemplation, I would have chose the inside of the arm, even the uh, brachial artery. Your knowledge of that anatomy. stuff is really impressive. We I, just can't see any of it I, in I, here. I know. No. I was an EMT in my county for five years when I went to art school. A lot of tattoos that were executed, very poor anatomy. In this tattoo, I don't think that any of the line work or the shading shows a very concentrated effort of being exactly precise. The shadow that swirls around with it, very sketchy and uneven, and I think it takes away from the design a little bit. There's nothing to judge. So to spend six hours doing this and put your livelihood in this competition on the line, Bad idea. Maddie, Chris, and Mike, all three of you could justifiably be sent home. Mike, you're here because the human canvas jury voted this the worst tattoo of the day. 
The challenge was precision anatomical tattoos. We don't see any of that. Give me something on my playing field that I have familiarity with. You've literally told us you have a better grasp about anatomy than anyone else, and you decided to do none of it. Why didn't you shine? It's important for me to keep my shoulders back and my head high. Whether you keep me here or send me home, my confidence prevails regardless. Okay, but when you lay your head on your pillow, did you actually do a tattoo that could fight as much as your mouth is trying? That's the question. The judges have decided. Mike, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing a skill that's crucial to any tattoo, lines. For this elimination tattoo, you'll have six hours to create a Celtic tattoo. The origins of Celtic tattoos date back thousands of years. You'll have six hours to complete your Celtic tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. My canvas was extremely specific on what he wants. You got the knots exactly the way I wanted them. I had to redraw quite a bit. I put the 13s in the background so that it doesn't mess with the cross itself. You, you nailed it. Lines have to be perfect. Are you ready? Allie's line work is just very unclean. It's got blowouts, which is when the ink actually goes under the skin in a wrong direction and creates like a bruising effect. That's no good. I'm not used to blowouts. I tried turning the machine down. I tried going lighter. I'm off my game in every sense of the word. Today, we asked you to show us clean lines in a Celtic tattoo. Allie. This tattoo is rough. These 13s, they're beat. The shape of the 13s are just very sketchy and iffy. He wanted the 13s in the cross. And so I'm thinking, oh no, that's gonna compromise doing the knot work inside the cross. So I tried to figure out a way to put it in a little more subtle. That's not subtle. That is big and abruptiously rough. You have inconsistencies in your outline that just show through in the design. Compared to what you're up against, you're falling incredibly short. Jason, Allie, for one of you, this is the end of the line. Allie, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you have the worst tattoo of the day. I just don't even know what to say. Today in the outline challenge, you came up really short. This is definitely not the type of work I'm used to putting out. I would really like to get to some of the realism challenges, because that's where I shine. The idea is to be good at all of it and do the tattoo that comes in the door. And I'm not saying I just do realism. I do all different styles. The judges have decided. Allie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing your use of value. There is no better way to measure value than with a black and gray Day of the Dead tattoo. Black and gray is all about the smooth transition from the lightest value, the skin, to the darkest value, solid black. It's black and gray, not mixed black and white. You'll have six hours to complete your black and gray Day of the Dead tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. It's a cool concept. I'm glad that you like it, so. Yeah. I want the title of Ink Master, because I put in the time, and I give a about doing a good job. I can't wait till it comes out, man. Yeah, I want to win the money. I have two kids, a wife, and we're all living in this tiny ass little house. That's why I want to win this thing so bad. Today, we asked you to show us proper use of value in Day of the Dead black and gray tattoos. Chris. You kind of screwed yourself in this. The black shading that you put on this, it's pretty rough. You didn't really get that smooth transition to create the value of the shape of this face. You just blacked out one cheek, and then solid black under her chin. It looks like a heavy black tattoo that hasn't been colored yet. When I first started tattooing, I used to go way too light. When it's finally healed, things drastically lighten up. You know, it comes back, and like all the stuff is just so ghosty. As far as value goes, there's not a lot in this. Craig, Chris, Rich, one of you must pack your machines and close shop. Chris. 
I wanted to see if could use a value to show a dimension, and this tattoo did not have any of this. It's a kick in the ass, man. I still want to stand by my tattoo because the guy was happy with it. The judges have decided. Chris, you do not have what it takes to be an ink master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing detail. Today, you must create tattoos known and dreaded for the incredible amount of detail they require. Asian tattoos. Knowing that we're about to tackle Chris Nunez's specialty, nerve-wracking. With Asian tattoos, whether it's geishas, gods, animals, or mystical creatures, it's the intricate details that make them identifiable. You will have six hours to complete a detailed Asian tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I'm really not a fan of traditional Asian artwork. They're very simple. I think it flows nice. The most important detail in Asian tattoo work is basically just the line work. So I'm pretty sure this tattoo is going to be a good one for me. Made Rich is doing God knows what to this poor lady's leg. It looks like the geisha is holding a severed samurai head. There's no way in hell to fix his design. Artists, today we threw you a painstaking test of detail. Asian tattoos. Rich. Let's start with you. You got two dots for eyes. One nose that turns into an eyebrow that's so close to the eye, then the other eyebrow's all high up off the eye. The nose is crooked, the lips are not lined up. Where's the beauty in this face? I'm not a traditional Asian fan. A lot of Asian work, there really isn't much detail in the face at all. So I've tried to dumb it down. It's insane. You say that they're not beautiful to you, but the simplicity is what makes these things so hard. If you're going to do things that in your mind are simple, then you got to do them right. You made yourself look bad with this. Joshua, Rich, and Jackie, your tattoos completely missed the mark. Rich. Coming out and insulting the artwork that you're doing because of your inadequacies only points out your shortcoming. I feel like it's kind of ironic that the bottom people did the most Asian-like tattoos on the Asian day. If you were technically solid with your fundamentals, then I could have done anything and I would have won. No, you would have done a much better outline than you did on this thing to jack up the nose, the hands, the eyes, the face, everything. At the end, to be Ink Master, fundamentals have to be flawless. The judges have decided Rich, you do not have what it takes to be an Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing dimension. For this challenge, you must tattoo something so recognizable that any error will be obvious. Landmarks. Holy Today, your canvases want realistic tattoos of places that are important to them. Dimension is crucial to realism because it makes landmarks impressive and recognizable instead of cartoonish and fake. You'll have six hours to complete your realistic landmark tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I'm happy that I got the Brooklyn Bridge. I should be able to rock this. The picture itself is gonna show dimension automatically. You've been to this point in the bridge right here? Like here? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, right? Yeah, I see it all the time. ES's tattoo, man, there's a lot of things wrong with it. On the wires, his lines aren't all straight, so he's shading them dark over it just to kind of compensate that. He's just missing the mark. This week, we asked you to use Dimension to tattoo a recognizable landmark. ES. The picture's, you know, a good picture to choose, like, as far as perspective and the way it fits the arm. With so much line work, there should be different sizes. Everything's equally the same thickness, and it kind of loses itself. Had you have used a thin liner and done those bridge lines lightly, it wouldn't look as similar. Everything looks the same. That's where Joey did everything so tiny and fine and then had those heavy areas. It's night and day. Two different bridges, though, if you think no, about it. At the end of the day, having to go apples to apples, yours versus his, you see the major differences. ES, tattoo baby, Joshua. Your tattoos fell flat, and one of you will be packing your machines. ES, 
This was my least favorite tattoo. I just didn't like how it fades off into nothing. If I would've put some clouds back there, it would've smoothed out the whole effect. It's not even only about the background. It just wasn't thought through the way it was just gonna fade off. It just wasn't up to par. The judges have decided. Yes, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing proportion. There is no better test of proportion than one of my favorite tattoos, a pinup. You'll have six hours to complete your pinup tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Cam, sometimes they ask for things that you really don't want to do. Craig's weakness is gray wash, and if you can't do gray wash, you shouldn't be able to be an ink master. This week, you had to tattoo pinups using proportion to make them sexy. Craig. Overall, you did a detailed tattoo, and the proportion looks right, but as a whole, it's just something unappealing about it. And you got a lot smoother on some of your lighter shading than we've seen before, but some of your darker shading is rough. When you take a black and gray look, but you go at it in a color approach, meaning you're coloring in such massive areas of the whole figure and not letting it breathe, it just gives it a weird look. I'm toning down my coverage from the day to day. You're getting better, but this whole approach to making it so solid and so colored, it's just gonna work against you. You need to get black and gray in your bag of tricks. Joshua, Craig, Tattoo Baby, your girls were not so hot, and one of you will be packing your machines. Craig. The tattoo is just not appealing to me. I did my best with the canvas and the piece I had to do. But the shading, all these light grays scribbled roughly in here, it's knocking it down even further. And then once I get into the technical part of it, there's a lot of flaws. The judges have decided. Craig. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing consistency. You must be able to tattoo uniform lines, shading, and color, giving your design a harmonious look. There's no better test of consistency than an image so iconic that any inconsistency will be obvious. Comic book characters. Yes. Founded in 1934, DC Comics is home to the world's greatest superheroes, like the Green Lantern, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and of course, Batman. But this week, you won't be tattooing a superhero. You must tattoo a super villain. You will have six hours to complete your super villain tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Because he has a fresh scar going across his left leg, I flip the image and put it on his right leg instead. A face should always face it. I'm definitely pulling out all the ammo. Artists, today we tested your consistency by asking you to tattoo a badass supervillain. Jackie. You have a lot of beat up line work in this thing. You jacked it up because of the very thin, weak outlines you did in the face, it doesn't look solid. It looks too weak. We've been battling line work all along. Not all along. Chris, it's no disrespect to you. No, I'm just like... saying. It doesn't convey comic book inking, it conveys a scratchy line. Consistency. You made a major alteration to it. It's backwards. You flipped it, therefore now he's burned on the opposite side of his body, so you're basically altering this pseudo history. It'd be wrong to do that for sure. That's a choice. The flipped image makes it wrong. I didn't even think about that. Jackie, Jason, Jimmy, any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Jackie. If this was my tattoo, the fact that the wrong side of the face is burned would bug me. I fell short a little today, but I think that you can see that I'm a good artist. You know, my mom's sick and the reason why I came is for to see me accomplish something in life. Well, no matter how the chips fall, she's seeing that. Yeah, but I want to see me win it. And I think if I pull my head out of my ass, I have a lot to offer you guys. All right, guys. The judges have decided. Jackie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing accuracy. A skilled tattoo artist must be able to accurately place every drop of ink in any skin. He must also be able to recreate a complex image down to the smallest detail. 
Today, you will be tattooing portraits. You have the rest of the evening to consult with your human canvases. Tomorrow, you will have six hours to complete your portrait tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Somehow, I wiped his entire right eye off of my stencil. The pattern is going away, especially in the areas where I don't need it to go away. If you lose part of your stencil, 99.999% of the time, you're You do not want to try to freehand something on a face. Just do him one eye. As if it wasn't bad enough, this guy is sitting there watching me up. I need to fix this. You're not like over your shoulder watching? I was able to re-stick the design back into place, but I'm running out of time. Almost done. There's a lot of detail in this thing. I'm screwed. Today, you had to tattoo a subject intimidating for even the best tattoo artists. A portrait. Jason, you're up first. Was it nerve-wracking to have the subject of your portrait sitting in the room with you as you were? It's a little threatening, because yeah. you're standing right there. Yeah. This is testing every one of my panic disorder buttons. Overall, man, you did do some neat tricks to get some detail in there. The mustache and the beard, the detail is very nice. The mouth, you captured the little smirk. There's a couple of spots you lost me on accuracy. Just the shape of his hair, the way it goes onto his shoulder, it doesn't have the same shape. But accuracy in the glasses, that's the big fudge on this thing. It looks like you kept trying to sculpt it and sculpt it, and you ended up changing the shape of the glasses. I tried to put white in there, and then I noticed that it was thickening up. This was the tattoo that needed the most accuracy because there were so many different textures. If you can't nail each texture, then it shows up a lot. It just threw it off. Jimmy, Jason, Kyle, the three of you were slightly off. And any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Jason. You didn't do a horrible tattoo, but when we line it up against everybody else's and look at the accuracy of all these things, the ear, the hair, the glasses, it's those details that are wrong. I saw my shortcomings on that tattoo, and I know that this is not the best of me. For some reason, the damn stencil just didn't come out strong enough. The judges have decided. Jason. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. This week, we're testing your ability to use finesse. As a tattoo artist, you must be able to handle everything from complex tattoos to difficult canvases. The more complex the tattoo or the placement, the more finesse is required to create a masterpiece. There's no better test of finesse than tattooing one of the most difficult parts of the body, the head. Holy we're doing head tattoos. This sucks. Your tattoo can be in any style, but it must be on your canvas's head. It's on their head. You cannot this up. Tattooing heads presents many challenges that other parts of the body do not. The hard, irregular bone under the skin requires a steady hand. The skin is thinner, finer, and more sensitive. No one in their right mind gets their head tattooed. That hurts. You'll have six hours to complete your head tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. Usually I try to stay away from tattooing people's faces because obviously that's going to affect things a lot stronger than getting your head tattooed. But you know, when I'm dealing with somebody that isn't 18 and already has a lot of visible tattoos, mm -hmm. I think it would be disrespectful for me to try to tell you what to do. I don't really like doing face tattoos, but this guy is in a place in his life where my opinion doesn't really matter, and I'm going to shut up and just give it to him. This is really a comfortable day for me. Good. I can't wait to get into it. Everybody thinks that I'm not an artist and that I can't draw anything, but I'm going to prove these people wrong with this tattoo. Josh is doing biomechanical. My concern with this is the fact that Josh is not a great artist when it comes to drawing. His design, there's not much to it. And to me, this is all frosting and no cake. Artists, today you had to show your ability to use finesse by tattooing a challenging part of the body, the head. Joshua. As far as the actual design and the shapes of this, your initial outline drawing could have been a little more creative, but you made up for that in how much detail you put into it. You really brought that to life with these kind of surreal bone-like textures. Technically, you hit a lot of really strong marks. Wow, thank you. 
I'm gonna be the dick, dude. I can't stand this drawing. I really dislike it. You are a technical tattooer. I was rooting for you last week and the week before because you did things that were your world. You pull off amazing things when you are replicating something. But this drawing doesn't look like an adult drawing. This looks like a kid drawing. I wouldn't have done it if I didn't like it. I spent I plenty of time drawing it. It has a very specific no, it doesn't, man. feel for what it. What is the shape? I'd be pissed right now if I was wearing this. Well, it's a good thing I didn't put it on you. I would seriously have issue with you. Dude, you can copy a portrait, you can copy a comic book, you can do all those things, but this drawing stuff has got you in the doghouse. Tattoo baby, Kyle, Joshua. One of you is about to close shop. Joshua. At some point, you are going to need to know how to translate things from your brain to the canvas. You are technically good, but today, your drawing skills have put you on the chopping block. So you're saying because I don't have their strengths, I'm a weaker artist. In this competition, you got to be able to do it all. The judges have decided. Joshua, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You are about to be faced with the most intense tattooing situation of the competition. This week, you'll be judged on all of the essential skills. Line, color, detail, value, dimension. Everything you need to be a master tattooer. You must tattoo a design created by one of the guest judges that you've met. The designs have been hand-picked. Immediately following your three-hour tattoo, you will have six hours to tattoo the design of your choice on your canvas. The twist is a definite, holy twist. We're doing nine hours of tattooing. It's gonna be a long day. Tomorrow's the most important day in the competition so far. Based on your work, three of you will go on to compete for 100 grand in the live finale. And one of you is going home. Good luck. I really like my design. I want people to come to me for weird, dark imagery. That's what I want to do. Either I'm doing a really weird tattoo, or maybe it's just so cool. I think I took a big risk. We'll see if it pays off. It's coming alive. Oh man, it'd be so nice to have 100 grand. 100 grand is a life-changing amount of money. Man, today's a fun day. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm playing with different dimensions and textures, but my canvas keeps getting redder and redder. His skin seems to be taking less of the ink, and I have to make darker choices here. The shocker of the day for sure is Kyle. His design is very hard to read, and I don't know what he is envisioning in his head, but it'll be interesting to see how he tries to pull it off. This was your last chance to prove you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. We asked you to complete two tattoos, one designed for you and one that was artist's choice. You will be judged on both tattoos. Kyle. First, will you do me a favor and just tell me what's going on here? There's a girl with the Day of the Dead makeup on her. The makeup's taking on a life of its own. It's leaving her body floating up as she's holding a skull. I'd like to be able to transport the viewer into some kind of realm of just like, what the Oh, yeah, I think you've succeeded. Looking at this design, and I'm right up on it, it's very difficult to figure out exactly what's going on. I wanted to destroy thoughts and concepts of what images should look like. Your comfort zone is in a fantastical, melty, trippy art style, and that's all fine and good, but today, you needed to do something that was clear. The texture in the whole tattoo looks the same. There's a lot of unsure elements. Tattoo Baby and Kyle, one of you will not be competing in the live finale. Kyle. The fact that you come in here as an artist and you risk and experiment with things, I mean, that's really inspiring. But this final tattoo, you made some awkward decisions and went a little overboard. My last tattoo was not spectacular. I can't disagree, but going into the live finale against two really strong competitors. It's a battle that I really want to rise to. The judges have decided. Kyle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Will do.